left the wife to play with her uh, pressure cooker. And we're going to take a look at the stang. This is a continuation of that. Um, I'm going to pull... I'm going to pull some plugs real quick. Woo! What went on here? We had a back back flush of antifreeze. Not good. Wow, and I just checked it before I, I left. She got really hot, huh? Ah, great. She got really hot and blew, blew antifreeze somewhere. Wow. I got antifreeze everywhere here. We didn't damage anything extensive here. That's not good. I like blue, blue antifreeze back. I don't know what that, I don't know what it did. It's like it sucked down some antifreeze, though. Oh, man. What's the engine look like? What's the temp look like? The engine's cold again. And I'm wondering if I got a stuck thermostat after all this <clears throat> hmm because that that thermostat kicked in boy it just shot right to the roof and we got it blew quite a bit of antifreeze but boy that was definitely because it was hot when I shut it down at least it ran okay. And I'm building. I'm building antifreeze right now in the radiator. It's starting to overflow. Right? And I can go like that. Air in there. Huh. It's had bars leaking it before. back on there. Okay, um, right now it's not blowing, blowing a little bit of white smoke out of there. said I want to still want to freaking pull a plug here Ooh, I got air come up a little bit gotta get that it gotta get that bars leak in there as you can see it blew blew off the hood that's what it did and blew up blew across the blew across the hood so mm, not a good thing I'm gonna which way to 
way to go with that. I don't know which side, which side has got the got the leak. The only way I can really do it is just pull the pull the spark plug and see if I get a change. I get a change. Some changes in RPM. Let me try that and see what happens. Okay, start start up running right, really really rough. Now I want to. Ah, I need another pair. Got to blow smoke again. Let's see, starting to blow, blow white, white smoke out of there. Let's see which cylinder's not firing. Through the rubber, oh, right on through my rubber. Uh, right through the uh, spark plug here. Okay, we got air. We got air building here. Got a freaking stuck, stuck thermostat. Mm, I don't know. I'm just blowing air. Okay. So. Starts again. Starts again. So I'm down to two, two plugs. actually do a compression check and pulling that off of there. Blue's coming up because it's expanding. So I don't know you can really tell which cylinder is getting. You can just go ahead and Gonna have to pull the plugs and take a look at them and see if you've got green green residue around the where it looks 
like it's been burning, burning in it. So, we're starting to get a little more, a little more blue, or a little more white, white smoke coming out of there. The ancient temperature is slowly, slowly coming up. So that's a good thing. Because I thought that was going to wind up shooting right up when you're going down the road. You want to be able to idle this thing for 20 minutes. That ding, 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 driving me to it. That's too. So here we go. We're going to try the bars. Bars leak on it over the weekend here. And uh, hopefully that's going to cure cure our problem. It says, got air blowing back in here. Oops. It's up. So, probably blew the blew the cap, blew antifreeze all over the place. So, anyway, that's where we're at. So we will catch you on the next Project Stang with the use and the trying of the bars leak. I'm going to go ahead and get the professional professional grade and we'll find out what the <clears throat> they say you need to find out what your capacity of your radiator is and that's how much uh, how much fluid they want you to put in the system which would be good because it's probably holes five maybe five quarts and there'll be enough left to uh, try and put it in the Sebring's uh, 2.7 2.4 oh can't remember the 2.4 liter I believe thing is I can't get that to run um, for any length of time so that's gonna be probably gonna be a uh, um, a disadvantage because they got they want it running they want you to be able to get it to run for 20 minutes and uh, I don't know I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get that to do that or not but we'll we'll see so thanks for watching don't forget to comment subscribe I'm definitely sure catch on next project stang